Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Anil Joshi. Welcome to you to my series Learn Radiology with Dr. Anil Joshi. Today's topic is Radiophysics Simplified. Extensively these topics are covered in my other lecture. This is a simplified form. Here we are taking component of uh, X-ray machine and a short video presentation will be given on that. A lecture will be given on that topic only. So if you have to consider entire radio physics, you will have to consider multiple lectures covered in this topic. Now there are disclosure and acknowledgement. Uh, this is a education series meant for residents and those who are uh, taking radiology as their career. The intention of it, it is totally educational. We have taken certain material which is from our department. We use it for every day for different different batches and I worked in multiple medical colleges. So also some material is also downloaded from the net which is free of cost and free of royalty. We acknowledge with thanks from whom the material has come, the source we are not aware. Now we are seeing in this series structures of a x-ray tube. In this we are going to cover stationary anode. So this lecture will be totally only meant for the stationary anode. If we have to see the remaining aspect like rotation, rot, uh, rotating anode, we'll have to refer for the different lectures. Now what is seen in the cross section of the tube? We can see anode which is either stationary or rotating. We've got cathode, filament and a focusing cup. This lecture is on stationary anode only. Now this is the stationary anode tube. You can see the anode is of small which is constituting copper as outer and a small focus spot by the tungsten. So here we are not having any moving parts. We've got just a fixed anode which is of copper and in that the, fill, uh, the focal track is or focal spot is by the tungsten. Now let's briefly see what is other uh, structure. What are other structure? There is a cathode which is similar to a bulb. It glows when heated, emits electronic cloud by a thermionic emission process. This electronic cloud accelerated by the potential difference and is attracted to towards anode. Uh, from there the accelerated electron got decelerated and they get converted into X-rays. So what we got here is a filament cathode and a target anode. This is a tube which shows filament, a target. Now let's come back to anode. Anode is positively charged. Now uh, as far as anode is concerned we got either stationary anode or rotating anode tubes. This topic we are going to cover is a stationary anode. Let, let's see what it is. Now what I am showing you first is a rotating anode. In that anode rotates. The rotation is around 3600 revolutions per minute. So it's with a high resolution it is moving. It has got a focal track which is of tungsten and every time a different focal track comes in a contact with the electron and that's why it has got multiple advantages that is covered in the topic which is on rotating anode. Now here we are going to see the advantages of stationary anode. Now this is shows a stationary anode. It doesn't move. It is outside. It is copper and the focal spot is of tungsten. The material is same but the designing is different. Now let us see more details of the stationary anode tube. This anode is consisting of a small plate of tungsten that is 2 or 3 millimeter thick and that is embedded in a large mass of copper. Copper is a very good conductor and tungsten has got very high melting point. That is why the combination is used. At one place we need a structure which will accommodate huge heat production and the second which will dissipate. So copper is excellent as for that purpose is concerned. It can have a larger block and tungsten can be a small 2 to 3 mm thick small plate. Now tungsten is the ideal target material for following reasons. It has got high atomic number that is 74 making it more efficient for production of X-rays. It has a high melting point and that is with the standard and it is capable of withstanding all the temperatures which are required or generated at this place. It is reasonably good material for absorption of the heat and its rapid dissipation. And copper is additional thing which helps it. Now here we are showing you how the anode, a tungsten, then uh, we are showing also the cathode which is negatively charged, then focusing cup, they streamline the electrons and they get bombarded on the tungsten target. And here the energy gets converted into the X-rays. Now this topic also we have covered in some other lecture. Videos are available. Now the X-ray tube of stationary anode, it is basically a evacuated glass envelope or a glass tube. Why? Because if there is a gas, it will have a molecules and they will collide against fast moving electrons. So also if there is air, then it has got oxygen and there will be oxidation or burning out of the heat structures. Now therefore it has to be a glass envelope which are totally evacuated. There will not be any hindrance for the fast moving electrons because there is no gas in it and that, that they will have steady acceleration. There will not be any reduction in the speed. Now this is how it looks like a target cathode, a 
filament from where the electrons are liberated and they get heated on the target to get produce extract. Now this is you are seeing outside the copper inside the tungsten consisting of the tungsten and a copper. The role of it is to convert a kinetic energy into the X-ray photons. Now X-ray production we have seen or we have discussed this extremely in details. So those who are interested can refer to the production of X-rays how it is. Now here we have shown you how the X-rays are produced from the stationary anode. Now why there is a requirement of stain is also important. 90% of the energy which is created here is of the in the form of heat. So heat is a main problem. Only 1% are the X-rays which moves from it and goes to the uh, patient or goes to the area to be X-rayed or examined. That's why the main role here is the production of the heat and its dissipation. Now let us come to certain technical aspect. What is the focus spot? It is an area on the target to which focusing cup directs electron that is we are discussing about focus spot the sharpness of a radiographic image inversely proportional to the area of focus spot if you want a sharp image then focus spot has to be small if it is large focus spot then the sharpness will not be there again it's a quality of uh, radiograph in uh, that session we are discussed it in more detail now what happens to the heat when heat is generated the size of the target area increases so that reduces the accuracy or sharpness of the image. Now this is another important thing here. It has got limitation. That's why a stationary anode tube has got limitations. It can be used at very uh, few places. Now let us come to some other uh, descriptive terms. What is a focal spot? Focal spot line focus principle is important to understand what is focal spot. To take advantage of a small focal spot while distributing the electrons over a large area of the target, the target is placed at angle to the electronic beam. Now we have seen the designing of the tube and in that you will understand why it is at angle so that the X-rays will come at 90 degrees. This angle is called angle of truncation. It is usually 20 degrees but sometimes 15 to 20 is also alright. Some machine has got 15. Now effective focal spot is smaller than the actual focal spot. This is another thing to be understood. So we have seen in detail how a stationary anode is how it has got uh, copper and tungsten as its constituents how it works and how it is ideal it is ideal in some tubes like where volume requires to be small like dental tubes because it has got stationary anode you have got a small size of uh, x-ray tube however the limitation is it is dissipation capacity it has got small capacity of heat dissipation that's why when you need a large exposure when you need a rapid exposure like in angiographies these tubes are of no use. They have got a small size and they are used in dental purpose for fixed small radiographic exposures. Large exposure it cannot take. With that we are coming to end of uh, a small lecture on the cathode. I thank you for giving me your valuable time. Please visit our website for comprehensive and detailed lectures on this topic also on many other. Thank you. Take care. Goodbye.